Hey there guys, it's me Sagar and welcome to my channel Orgami Learning. Guys, have you ever wondered design is a secret ambassador of your product? If you think deeply, it sounds true. So, without further ado, let's start with our new project. So, what are we learning in this new project? We are learning the forms, shapes and the visuals of the design and few other things which makes us understand how the design is made aesthetically so beautiful. So, one more thing which you guys want to know is we are not focusing much on technicality as such. So, focusing on this video, let's try to connect it. After giving that fillet, you might be able to figure it out what the design might be. So, if you're guessing it's a cell phone, you're absolutely right, my friends. So friends, uh, here comes a small quiz for you guys like uh, can you guess me which phone that is which brand and which model number are we designing and I am sure that by the end of this video you will be able to be figure out at least you have seen it one or the other time the cell phone which you are designing. So keep ready with your answers by the end of this video I will be giving you the answers of the model and the brand of the cell phone. So again. I, I try to say that this video pertains more of design and the form of the model rather than its technicality. Technicality pertains to its cover design or the two piece of cover and the panel and is not clearly designed because uh, I want to save it for the next video guys. Here we are just focusing mainly on how the aesthetic part is covered so this is the reason why we have not done it as we will not be able to clearly understand the difference so you might be wondering what these three slots are made for it's clearly that for the cell phone you need a charging input one is the LED lights that is an additional feature which is provided for the basic cell phones and next is the 3.5 mm jack but as you can see again I have not given it 3.5 mm but I have given it around 4 mm that is because of the clearance for the jack to be inserted in. Guys, uh, you can see that the video 
in the rear part panel is almost done as you can see that camera is done and there is a small logo embossed as well now you might be able to understand the brand it's too easy it's nokia and uh, why i've used the brand is because it's a very simple and modular design and it goes very well with the user now coming to the front part we are trying to design the entire panel and the keypad here so let's see how it's done with a simple procedure as i'll repeat it again we are not designing the actual product here we are just trying to cope up with the aesthetic appeal of the design so this initial slot is done is nothing but the cutout for the external panel now i'm trying to do the internal panel cutout where it holds the keypad and the screen So friends, which are the commands we are using here? Basically, there are only two or three basic commands that is offset, extrude and project geometry. These three commands have been clearly explained in my earlier videos. So if you want to learn more about that, I request you to kindly visit my earlier videos and you will get a very clear idea about what are these commands are. I am just using these three commands to create a closed loop where I can extrude it. So why am I extruding it? To create a small cutout which can say that uh, there is a slit between the two mating phases here. So again why are we providing these slits? These slits tell us that this is the design aspect of the product. Why we are using the design? I again explain that this is only the design part of the video. We will use the technicality in some next videos or the upcoming videos so i hope you are getting the idea why we are doing this So you might be clear now what these uh, slits are and why it is done. You might be able to recognize the phone by this time now. So we'll move on to the screen part. We are designing the screen aspects. The dimensions are given nearly as to the identical real model. So that I wanted to make the product look exactly similar to that of the existing design. Now you can see that we are designing the speaker that is the speaker part of the phone all the sketches are done initially and then they are extruded to a certain distance i hope uh, these basic concepts you are clear with this is uh, a little bit of advanced part where i will not cover that again if you want to learn more you can just check my previous videos where i have clearly explained these basic concepts friends you might be wondering like why i am redesigning the existing product it's to make us understand that it's not so difficult to design any new products it's quite simple let's start with this basic design and in the future videos we'll learn that how can we design our own products so it will be quite interesting stay tuned
the design part is almost done here next we move to the rendering part coming back to the quiz which i asked if you are able to guess the answer that's really good for those of you who don't know the product is nokia 220 it's a keypad phone not so new design but it's really modular and very handy design so we coming back to the rendering part we are adding the colors textures for the phone which makes it aesthetically similar to the existing design by watching this video it's more than clear to understand that what color textures and fonts will be more necessary so stay tuned guys So guys, uh, we are coming to the end of this video, and uh, hope you liked it. Coming back to this uh, design and rendering, there are few textures need to be added, as you can see. I've tried to create a design exactly the same, but few glitches here and there are left for the imaginations. So you can add your textures and details as per your requirement. By the end of this video, I'll show you the actual image of the phone where you can compare. one thing i have just added a decal which is really simple to do as well so don't worry about it much if you have any questions suggestions you can just comment below i'll answer as soon as possible so guys stay tuned for next video still then cheers and do what you enjoy doing my friends